Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. This is part three of Facebook members share their favorite or best um, February Bolo. I forgot which one I was doing. Sorry, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I am here to share with you some big money bolos. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. That Facebook m members sold. So if you are interested in being in a video just like this, come on over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There is a link down in the description of this video and join and go to the announcements slash featured section and you will see posts that look like this and you can share your Bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. So this is what I posted and I'm going to share with you what everybody shared. Let me uh, get this a little bit. All right. So I am going to be looking at my computer screen and I'm going to be reading off exactly, well, as exact as I possibly can, what they wrote. And I'm going to pop up screen shares and tell you guys where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. Um, these items come from thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, just different places where people source inventory to sell on different selling platforms. So the ink I found in the office depot dumpster, so a dumpster dive, uh, the Tiffany collaboration ornaments I bought last year, six of them for $7. I've sold four of them for about 35 each. Okay, so we've got this brother ink and this Tiffany ornaments. Um, so it looks like it's a, a little lamp, but it's an ornament. So super, super cute. I got this in a bathroom lot from an online estate auction, less than a dollar into it. Took an offer of 50 plus shipping, buyer is all in at $56. Vintage, new old stock, Vera Newman, Burlington, full flat bed sheet, mod, bright blue and green. And this is what it looks like. And, you know, somebody mentioned, I think it, um, this same brand, this Vera Newman. So definitely be on the lookout for that brand. I got this set of sheets in an online estate auction, paid $29, accepted an offer of $200 plus shipping. Buyer is all in for $235. Wow. So they are vintage new Laura Ashley Castleberry King fitted flat sheet for King four king pillowcases. I got this cross stitch kit at an online estate auction in a craft lot, less than a dollar, and it sold for full asking price plus shipping. The buyer is all in for 106. Yeah, these cross stitch kits, if you can find the Dimensions Gold, this is a Dimensions Gold, they are big money typically. Uh, this is a teddy bear gathering. Um, and it's a cross stitch kit. And you always want to put the cross stitch kit number in your title. This next one comes from Rebel, the Rebel reseller. That is her YouTube channel, but her name is actually Rebel. And she is a bolo finder. She sells tons and tons of plush. If you're not following her channel, it looks like this. Definitely go do that. Um, but she also sells a lot of other items as well. This is a hard goods item. She got this... Um, from, this is more pharma promo items from a high bid online auction estate sale. Might have a dollar in them both. Sold for $62.95. So um, they're basically pharmaceutical company advertising items. Now, I know that a friend of mine, um, she just listed, I think it was a pencil with a pesticide. It said something about pesticide and she got it taken down. Um, so I don't know if the same thing can happen with the pharmaceutical stuff or not. Has anybody had an issue? And the reason I'm thinking of this is I just did a video on items that are, that people have gotten suspended for, or they've lost, um, like suspended or lost their accounts or just had the item taken down for a reason. And the members of the group shared their boat or 
not bolos, not bolos, they're not bolos, share their items that you should not list on eBay, which is completely different than what I've normally done. But um, it got a good response. So I have two more of those videos coming in the near future. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell if you want to get alerts when I post new videos. But this is what that video looks like. Go check it out. It is full of information. But if anybody knows about the um, pharmaceutical stuff, has anyone had any issues with um, things being removed because like the company is the same as the pill or something like that, like Xanax or something. Has anybody had any issues with that? It may be no problem. I'm not sure. Just throwing it out there as a question. All right. Um, pick these up at the Goodwill for $5.50. Had them listed for $434. Took best offer of $300. Being shipped off to Germany. They are the Schilling System of Musical Composition. Wow, very cool. $5.50 at the Goodwill. What a nice find. This actually didn't really cost me anything as, as such. I was given the kit 12 years ago to keep me occupied when I was sick and going through treatment. It has sat completed in a drawer with many other finished cross stitch, which I have finally started listing. This particular piece was hard to part with as it kept me sane, but it needed to be displayed. I was beaming to get feedback from the buyer who said, beautiful craftsmanship, very fast delivery. Thank you so much. It is a rooster completed cross stitch designed by Nancy Rossi, and it sold for $75 plus shipping. And what a fantastic um, story behind that. Awesome. Okay. This one comes from Double T's Treasures. She has a YouTube channel. It looks like this. Go check her out. I bought these at America's Thrift Store. I paid $2.99 per package, and each package had two containers in them. I bought three packages total for an overall total of six. I sold all six between $145 to $168. They are discontinued, so I only listed one at a time, not multi-quantity. Sealed beauty control skin logics quarter cure comfort lotion with camomile or cam chamomile chamomile <laughs> wow can you believe that that is awesome okay this one comes from stuart who is franklin hill ventures on youtube and he is now a moderator of this group so go show him some love with a sub he said this was one of my first sales in my new booth location Sold this antique framed old lady of, oh, is that Czechoslovakia? I don't know. I don't know if that's how you spell it or not. I think it is, but man, I would never have thought that it would be spelled that way. Um, bead artwork for 160. I believe it was brought over from Poland in the early 1900s. Paid 17.50 for it at another antique store. How cool is that? And then he's got a picture of his booth here and a little arrow pointing to the item. This one comes from the Cha-Ching King. We bought these the day before yesterday for $7.50 each, and they sold within hours. There were seven copies of Disney's The Little Mermaid on video, eight tape. I sold them for 40 each. This is the only Disney animated movie released on video eight. They did not sell because of anything inappropriate or the covers. So there are some little mermaid um, covers that have an inappropriate image in them. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it really is a true thing, which is very, it's really sad, honestly. I mean, it's a Disney movie. It's just not good. But anyway, he's saying that there was nothing in on this one. This is just an 8mm tape. Um... You may see listed comps in the $400 to $500 range, but the only sold prices fall between $30 and $40. So he's just giving it to you real. Like, you can go and look at listed items. And honestly, you guys, people put crazy prices on a lot of stuff. And he sold his at, um... okay, now I'm confused. I sold them for $40 each. Um, his screenshot says $280. Disney The Little Mermaid video, 8 millimeter tape, rare, sealed, made in Japan. Seven copies. Oh, $40 each. Okay, so maybe the same person bought all of them. This one comes from Toledo Antique. They also have a YouTube channel where um, they sell a lot of estate stuff. 
uh, really unique, cool items. And they also do live sales on their YouTube channel. It looks like this, so check them out. Um, we got this at a consignment on, we got it as a consignment with a client. So it's a consignment deal. We pay 50% of the sold amount to the client and keep the other 50%. And it sold on an auction that started at 89 and it had six bids and sold for 177. I'm gonna have to like get close here and read this. Vintage Imperial Company, Satin Marigold Carnival Glass, unique shape. It's a vase and that's what it looks like. The next one comes from 1987 Ventures, Tracy, and she bought this at a thrift store for a dollar, sold full price on eBay after about nine months. People are very loyal to Crabtree and Evelyn. So that's the brand. It's apricot body oil. Lo er, yeah, lotion. It's a lotion. Sold for $64.87. And definitely go check her out on YouTube. Um, she has a great channel and she's super knowledgeable and a bolo finder. Here's another one. Bought for $2 at a yard sale. Had it listed for $59.87 and took an offer on eBay after six months for $44.60. It's a vintage brass Indian chief, Native American profile, inlaid stones and shells. So I don't know if it's a belt buckle or if it's a brooch, but this is what it looks like. Okay, got these at the grocery store. She always has these grocery store bolos. Paid $6.32 for all of them. The one trip there has been fun to offload. So they are six packs of Tic Tac X Freeze Strong Mint Cooling Crystals Sugar Free. Sold these for $35. Another person that sells Tic Tacs is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. So um, super funny, right? All right, let's look at the next one here. I purchased this at Ma Majar. I don't know. It's a thrift store <laughs> where I like to shop. I paid 50 cents and it took and took a chance on it because it was only 50 cents. Had tags and anime is so popular right now. I took a best offer of 80 and the buyer paid the shipping. And I'm drawing a blank. I think it's Leo's treasures. Ooh. I'll pop it up. <laughs> but that's her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep all these YouTube channels and eBay stores straight. So um, I found this jacket at Burlington discounted for $12.99. This one sold for $100 plus shipping in two weeks. It's a Ralph Lauren's men's size 58 regular black faux suede sport coat. And this comes from Flippin' It Good. This is his YouTube channel. He goes out to like Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, all those discount stores. And you guys, he buys stuff and he flips it for big money. So if you want to learn it about retail arbitrage clothing, check out his channel. He is a wealth of knowledge. Paid a dollar at a local thrift store, sold for a hundred after three days, going overseas, GSP, Global Shipping Program. Original RC Rug Crafters Speed Tufting Tool. Um, sold for a hundred dollars. Check that out. Now that was the February bolo. So that was the end of them. I just had, I don't know, like 15 or so to finish up, but I'm going to add to this one. And I am going to add in, um, and this one didn't do well. Uh, not a lot of people posted on this one. Someone in the group asked me to do this and I'm like, oh, I don't know how well it's going to do, but sometimes I'm wrong. But this time I was right. There were, there's a, like 10 or 15, but it's an item that um, you bought that you wanted to keep, but you sold it anyway. So it's really a fun category and maybe just people didn't understand or they didn't see the post, but I do have a few here for you. So I'm going to show you those. She said, I bought it on Mercari for $95 and it took a few months to sell, but it sold for full asking price of $995 on eBay. It is, um, let me see if I can zoom in here. It's Alice in Wonderland. Um, I think it's just like the cat. I don't know its name and I'm sorry. I cannot, it's kind of blurry, but, um, it's like a figurine or a statue. Crazy. Just crazy. Paid 50 cents at a yard sale. It is a Hallmark keepsake ornament, limited edition, a gift for, is it a Harry Potter? I think it's a Harry Potter. For some reason, my, everything looks really blurry. I've got it zoomed in. Maybe that's why. 
but this ornament and it sold for it looks like a hundred and eighty eight dollars wow okay sold for 55 bought it for five i really should have kept it it uh sold on poshmark and it looks like it's a bedspread looks like that I paid 10 cents for this at an animal charity thrift store near me. I am a Lisa Frank fan and it brings back such nostalgia for me. I have a hard time selling the Lisa Frank things I find, but the profit on this was just too much not to take it. Hollywood Bear is my favorite Lisa Frank design. And this is a Lisa Frank vintage three ring pocket folder and it sold for $88. I love Kimberly Pattern by Fire King, but they sell so good. I kept one mug, paid five for the colored set. Um, the amber glass paid 20 with other dishes. And it looks like it sold for $85. For Okay, I see here. So that one sold for, why is my, why is everything so blurry? Um, 85 on that one. And then took some best offers on the others here. And then this last one went on Mercari, it looks like for 83. So I'll pop up the screenshots. I'll be able to make them bigger so you guys will be able to see them better than I can see them. This one comes from moderator Be Carried Away, Carrie. She has a YouTube channel. Her channel is Be Carried Away. And she paid $50 at the Salvation Army and sold locally on Facebook Marketplace for a best offer of 300. I wish I'd had a vintage yellow kitchen and the space to keep these. They're how six vintage 1950s chrome vinyl yellow kitchen chair set, mid-century modern. So very cool item there. I would have loved to have kept this for my Christmas decor, but paid up a bit for him, $10, and it was a challenge to see who could find the best item for $10 or less at the antique mall we were at. Winning was more important than keeping it. This one comes from Jack's Treasures. Um, they have a YouTube channel. It looks like this. They do a lot of storage units and they also have booths. So definitely check out their channel. This next one comes from, uh-oh, 1987 Ventures, Tracy. Um, I almost said a different date, I think. But uh, I bought these at an estate sale with two other boxes full of other vintage Christmas like these that I've sold. I wanted to keep them all for a supreme vintage Christmas of my own, but so they're the little felt Santas and a lot of people collect these and they sell very well. She sold this, it looks like on Mercari for $60 and the buyer paid shipping. That is it. I don't know how many that was because some of them were February, some of them were an item that you wish you didn't sell. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Go join my Bola Buddies Facebook group if you have not already. Share in these posts so that we can share or that we can all see your bolos and I can share them in the video. All right. Leave me an owl emoji if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.